and welcome to a new weekly vlog. It's actually Wednesday afternoon, it's not the morning. It actually feels like the evening, it is so dark. It's 20 past four. Um, I'm just about to do a bit of uni work this morning, or not this morning, like this morning I had uni. Uh, this afternoon when I got back from uni, I've had some lunch and then I've edited the weekly vlog. Um, I've uploaded it, or it's uploaded now, actually it's taken a really long time. Um, I've also edited another video as well. So just been getting kind of back on it a little bit with YouTube. I'm just getting on top of a few different things. Um, but I am going to just do about an hour of work now instead of about 20 past five or maybe like an hour and a half um, and then I'm going to get ready because we're actually going out for some dinner this evening for um, one of the girls birthdays that I go to uni with does that make any sense at all one of the girls I go to uni with it's her birthday um, so we're going to go out for dinner we're going to Brewski I think that's what it's called I'm pretty sure um, it's like a place and it's like um, a cheese board that they do and it's been like trending on like Facebook and stuff so we're going there I'm quite excited um, but it is so cold it's so dark and rainy it's literally so dark it is ridiculous it feels like it's about 10 o'clock at night i'm gonna do about an hour's worth of work now and then i can get ready i might like curl my hair i'm definitely gonna redo my makeup my makeup looks literally horrendous um you probably doesn't look too bad from like where you are but close up it literally looks awful definitely need to redo that um and then i'm gonna curl my hair and obviously get changed and whatever so if i give myself about an hour to do all that i think that'll be great so we're just about to go out for my friend's birthday um i just thought to show you what i'm wearing i've got black jeans on um kind of like pointy heeled boots not that you can really see them and i've got this kind of wrap top on which has got a ruffly sleeve from nasty l which you really can't see it's like an off the shoulder ruffly wrap thing <laughs> it's really nice and then i've got a leather jacket on so quite simple and then my son mccartney bag i mean all black woman in black So I'm literally about to sleep, as you can see. I've literally got my teddies here. <laughs> I am 23 years old, but um, I am about to go to sleep. I'm back from my night. Uh, we went to Brewski, or whatever it's called, um, for some cheese. It was so lovely. And then we went to Slug and Lettuce for a few cocktails. It was lovely. Um, it's just past midnight now. I'm about to go to sleep. But I just wanted to come on because I just wanted to say, literally, you guys are so lovely. Thank you so much for all your comments on last week's weekly vlog. Honestly, in last week's weekly vlog, I was saying how I felt like you guys weren't, like, I don't know, didn't like the weekly vlog before that. The views weren't that great, blah, blah, blah. And literally, so many of you have commented on this week's weekly vlog or last week's weekly vlog sorry or this week currently um but so many of you have commented on the weekly vlog that's just gone up and said how much you've enjoyed it and you, you watch all the vlogs and honestly i can't say thank you more like thank you so much like it's put me in such a nice happy mood and like feeling really positive about youtube and it's just so lovely so thank you so much to any of you that have commented it's really really lovely i, I love getting comments i have to say the one thing is i actually don't comment on that many people's videos um it takes quite a lot for me to comment so i completely understand if you're like a silent viewer and you don't comment because i'm exactly the same thank you so much to the people that actually do make an effort to try and comment because i am not one of those people normally i just always forget when i'm watching other people's videos so thank you so so much i'm gonna go to sleep now i'm super super tired um but yes i'll speak to you in the morning i just wanted to say thank you hello it's now thursday um i look a little bit like an egg i have got kind of like a curly ponytail because my hair was curled last night so quite enjoying the curly ponytail but from the front i do look like a bit like an egg um i've just finished popping some makeup on it's 20 past 10 i had a little line this morning until about nine o'clock we didn't get in last night till like midnight um because obviously went out for dinner and drinks as I mentioned and so yeah I just wanted to make sure that I had enough sleep because today I have got quite a lot to do so I thought it's better off not being tired when I actually have the choice so I've still got work to do on my assignment my assignment is due in well my presentation it's a presentation assignment um it's um gonna be next Thursday my presentation um so that's when it's due in today I want to get it finished and then for the rest of the week i want to just be able to learn um the speech and all that kind of stuff i feel like i can't talk right now i feel like it's not coming out very well <laughs> i don't really know why but i've got a um, meeting with the unit leader at one o'clock today um because i'm just going to go through my presentation with her obviously because i've got an extension on this assignment um, i'm just going to kind of like talk through it with her and make sure that i'm on the right lines because everybody else kind of got that advantage um when they did their presentations because they had like drop-in appointments and stuff so i'm going in to see 
see her to kind of like see if I'm on the right lines and stuff. So that will be quite good, I think, because at least she can help me with that. For the next kind of like two hours, I'm going to be leaving here about half 12. I'm just going to try and go through my presentation and kind of tweak things and stuff. So when she has a look at it, it will kind of be like how I want it to be um, and then she can tell me if it's good or if it's bad and I need to change this or don't need to change this and I think it'll be really really helpful I think it'll put me in a better like headspace I'm so excited that it's Thursday like I can't wait to see Bradley tomorrow the week's gone quite fast actually like some weeks go so slow um, but I'm not seeing him all weekend this weekend I'm seeing him on the Friday night um, and then I'm seeing him for Saturday daytime and then I'm going to be going home at like 6 o'clock on Saturday because he's got plans on Saturday evening um, so we've just kind of moved it around so that we can like still see each other this weekend because next weekend um i'm not seeing him because my friend christina is coming up to manchester we're actually going to see jess glynn and i'm so excited i absolutely love jess glynn we both love jess glynn so much together like it's just so nice like literally since we were in first year like we met when we were in first year at uni and since we were in first year like literally we both absolutely love jess glynn we've been waiting for her to tour since first year so we're very very excited to be going so i'm just about to head off to uni i think i mentioned earlier my brain is obviously like mush um but i'm going to meet my um unit leader i think i did mention this yeah i'm going to meet my unit leader to go through my presentations i'm going to go now um i've got this coat on which is from new look um i quite like it it's new and i've just got this jumper on which was from the january sale at mns last year and it's in a size extra large i normally wear a small so it's really nice baggy and you know what? it's not focusing on me i'm not going to vlog for the rest of the evening um not like i vlogged a lot of my evening anyway because um, i did a workout i made some dinner um and then i've had a bath and i feel so chilled out it's actually the first bath i've had since i've lived here i've lived here for two months now um and literally it's the first one that i've had like what is wrong with me um i had loads and loads of lush stuff so i had a bath bomb and a bubble bar in there it was so nice and it's just completely chilled out i started reading lindsay kelk's one in a million which mum actually bought for me when i was in hospital um and she bought it for me because obviously i didn't really have anything to do in there and the internet was dreadful like you couldn't watch anything um so she bought me it for me but i never actually started reading it in there i only read like a few pages um so i started that in the bath i really really enjoyed it so i think i was just to get into bed i think i'm gonna read a little bit more of my book make a little list of things that i need to bring to bradley's tomorrow and just like really chill out i feel really like zen right now i don't want to like look on social media or go on netflix or i just want to be really zen and just completely chill out so i will see you guys in the morning after a nice sleep hello good morning it's now friday um, i'm not gonna lie everything is going wrong this morning like everything um i woke up really didn't feel very well i had this really like dull pain in my tummy um and it's like an ache that was horrible then i felt really anxious um then i've washed my hair and it was just felt horrible um i've got that new shampoo from l'oreal that i mentioned in last week's weekly vlog it's like the detangling one is that called dream lamps that's what it's called and i don't like it normally i really like like l'oreal shampoo conditions especially ones that are for detangling for like one it doesn't detangle in the slightest and two it's so made my hair feel horrible, like, just feels a bit greasy and not great, so I'm really not impressed with that, I spent £6 on those and it's just rubbish, I don't like it. Um, so that's another thing that's annoyed me, and then um, I ordered some pillows off of Groupon for Bradley, um, he was giving me the money but I ordered them on my account and um ordered them to his house and basically the address is like messed up so the postcode and like the city's like correct the address is completely wrong so i rang them like um this needs to be changed it's not going to the right place um and then they were like oh we can't change it you just have to wait until um you get a refund like wait till it comes back to the uh, warehouse i'm like great absolutely great so yeah really not the best morning everything is going wrong and now i need to pack my stuff um, because I'm going to Bradley's obviously this afternoon and then also it's currently 10 o'clock I need to leave for uni in half an hour and I haven't um, eaten any breakfast so it's going great this morning everything's going great hello I look rather interesting um so I'll come into my bathroom I'm at home um as I mentioned I was at Bradley's are you balanced I was at Bradley's um for Saturday well Friday night and Saturday and then I was coming home Saturday night um I haven't actually vlogged because I haven't felt very well I feel better now um but because I was in hospital like obviously about five weeks ago I was just a bit concerned because I didn't really didn't feel very well yesterday um or 
like early on today so that's why i haven't vlogged so i just thought i'd quickly explain um i do feel better now i still feel better like not really myself but i do feel better i've just got a face mask on um just having a really chilled evening by myself and i'm really enjoying it yeah i've got this one by pixie i don't really use this very often it's the pixie glow mud mask um but yeah it feels very nice at the moment it says 15 minutes but i always leave mine on for far longer than the time that it states um i'm just actually looking at some christmas presents and stuff on my laptop which you can kind of see in the background over there um i'm just basically just gonna have a little look at christmas presents and have a watch of netflix and have such a chilled evening um i watched the holiday with bradley last night and it was super super nice to watch that it's the first christmas film i actually know i watched that one with claire didn't i the other day it was like the first proper christmas film you know like that i watch every year um so yeah i really love doing that also fabulous deal so um i basically was just let's see how bad the lighting is it is pretty bad but i basically was um i'm signed up to voucher and groupon emails i don't know why i'm vlogging with this face mask on for this amount of time but i'm signed up for voucher and groupon emails and voucher have got a deal on which is um for kinky boots the musical um it's a show in manchester and it's at the manchester opera house and they've got a deal on where like literally the cheapest tickets like 12 pounds like how insane is that so we have gone for the middle ticket 16 pounds me claire and sophie are gonna go 21st of november little treat before we go home for, for christmas which obviously we're going home for christmas on like the 14th of december it's not like we're not going home like then but we wanted to do something before we left so i thought it was a really great idea so i've booked that through voucher saved loads of money it said that i'd saved a saving of like 32 pounds per ticket so yeah that is just absolutely insane and fabulous like fabulous saving for a saturday night but this is my saturday night i'm in pajamas got a blanket on face mask on and i'm looking at christmas presents no going out for me hello it's now sunday i've got my hair in a plait i couldn't be bothered to wash it today i've just got this jumper on which is one of my favorites i mentioned it last week i think well you can definitely not see what i'm trying to show you i've got this jumper on and then i've got these kind of like leggingy things that i mentioned in my outfit of the week video if you haven't seen that i'll link it on the screen now um but i really love these i've had these for like six seven years and i've just discovered them recently and been like i really love them um i'm just gonna go meet my mum for a coffee um obviously i'm just at home obviously last night and today and i'm leaving today probably about four ish or so i'm gonna have sunday dinner here at my dad's house um but i'm just gonna go meet my mum for a coffee so i can see her for a little bit because obviously they'll come home i want to be able to see everybody that i want to see so yeah i'm gonna go and see her for a little bit i was watching um brogan's um florida trip report video this morning it's been really informative and really interesting um even though i'm not planning on going to disney anytime soon it was really really good um so yeah i'm just gonna drive and go meet my mum for a coffee and probably have a black forest hot chocolate and feel quite good about my hello life. so i am just driving back home now it's currently 20 past four so it's still light which is nice because last week when i was driving back it was like five o'clock like past five o'clock so it was a bit dark um but yeah it's about 20 past four and i did i drive back last weekend yeah i think i was here last weekend um so yeah it's about 20 past four so it's quite nice i really am sorry that i haven't vlogged much this weekend i just really haven't felt right i haven't felt myself i feel a bit sick a bit queasy which i know is pretty much the same thing um and just not quite me um i don't really know what's wrong um but yeah i was quite concerned on friday that i was getting quite ill but um i feel kind of i definitely feel better than i did friday i'm hoping it's just like you know a 72 hour like little sickness thing um and also as well i do feel quite anxious i do feel like it's maybe because i've got an assignment due on thursday which is obviously a presentation so it is something that i do get quite anxious about an assignment like if i just had to write a report and hand it in i wouldn't be anxious about it at all so there's a presentation you have to stand up and speak and remember things and stuff like that um and i'm just slightly anxious about it i have got things to do this week for it um so yeah i'm not feeling like the best about that and obviously that ties in with me feeling a little bit sick um so i'm hoping it's just that and by thursday i'll feel a lot better um after i finished it but yeah i just i haven't felt myself so i'm sorry for not vlogging much this weekend i think as well i haven't wanted to talk about it I, i'm feeling not very well because when i did my vlog um saying that i had been in hospital um and i was obviously i was saying like how awful it had been um everybody was so nice like so so nice but there was one comment um and it was horrendous it was basically saying how can you i don't even know what it said to be honest i can't remember it but it basically said how can you moan about being in hospital for four days and people are in there for years and years and years 
I completely understand that, but it doesn't matter whether you're in hospital for two hours or whether you're in hospital for two months, you still haven't, you still have a right to moan about it. Just if somebody said to me, oh, I feel really poorly, I'd still sympathise with them. It doesn't matter whether they've been like to hospital or not. I wouldn't be like, oh, just because I've been to hospital, you don't get to moan about anything now. Um, so yeah, it was really not, it was really nasty. It really upset me actually. I don't really get upset by comments and stuff and you all are really nice most of the time. Um, but yeah, just this one comment really, really annoyed me, especially when I'd opened up and said that I'd been in hospital and what was wrong with me and everything, which is a really personal thing to do. For someone to just be so nasty about it, it was just horrible. So I think that's why I haven't wanted to really like vlog this weekend when I haven't felt very Hello, I'm now back in Manchester. I've just got in my pajamas. I mean, these star pajamas, they're from Primark last year. They are so cozy and soft. And it's this really baggy like jumper. It's like the most unflattering thing in the world. And then some like nice like leggy pajamas and I'm a big, star and I'm very happy and um, I've had to buy a new shampoo and conditioner because the one that I showed you um, and I was complaining about I really don't like it so the one that I was showing you last I think it was last week or the week, I think it was last week is this one this is the Elvive detangling conditioner was it last week was it this week last week I think I showed you this I have no idea this conditioner and shampoo or shampoo and conditioner thought i would absolutely love it this is the detangling conditioner as well and my hair's really knotty literally made it feel awful like i really don't like it literally used it about three times so i've ditched that one i brought a new one let me show you i brought this one i've used this before my mum uses this we were in savers earlier and she was like that's the one i use I was like, oh yeah i used to use that i liked it so i'm using this one it's the john frieda Frizz Ease Miraculous Recovery. It's the shampoo, it's the conditioner, and it says instantly restores long lasting damage defense for dry, damaged hair. So I found that this will be a bit better, a bit more nourishing. That one, it was bad. I really didn't like it. I don't know. I don't really like very often not like shampoo and conditioners. I just use anything really normally. That one was really bad. Really surprised. Anyway, so this hopefully will be better because I've used it before. I popped it in the drawers with the backups. I'm just about to take my makeup off with the lovely Oscar Renaissance Cleansing Gel. I am loving this um, since my lovely viewer sent it to me. Um, I am absolutely loving using it. The one thing I would say is it does sting my eyes. It always has. Um, but I just love it so much that I just continue to use it. It doesn't sting my eyes to the point where they're really hurting. But I could do with like, taking it off as soon as I've done my eyes. I always do my eyes last though when I'm take off my makeup and um, we've also brought some new hair dye as well or not i guess it's new hair dye it's the same color as my hair because i just find like i could do with a bit of a refresh my roots aren't really too bad um they have grown out but you can't really notice it too bad this time um but yeah i just feel like my hair could be a bit of a refresh get it a bit darker again um so i brought some of that so hopefully i'll do that this week at some point i always think when i'm not desperate to do my hair i can never be bothered to get around to doing it I'm not sure what to do this evening. I don't know whether to... Um, I don't know what time it is actually. I think it's about probably half seven now. Um, I don't know whether to watch a film, um, to watch Friends, and at the same time as watching Friends, write a Christmas list, because um, my mum and Bradley have both asked me to just write a few things that I want for Christmas. Um, so I don't know whether to do that, or I don't know whether to read my book. Maybe I could watch Friends for a bit and then read my book for a bit. I don't really want to watch something that's that like taxing or like I always say taxing I mean like hard on my brain I got this fresh sugar lip polish for my birthday I'm pretty sure my dad got this as a sample um I don't know if it's gonna be in here when I got the no it's not in here it must be in my handbag the um fresh like sugar like lip you know balm type thing tinted lip balm thing um and there was loads of like samples at good sizes like this which basically looks like it's full size and then a few other things what else is in here like there was this which is like a face cream and there was a face mask there was loads of things that gave him as samples um and i've been loving this like it's a really good size like look like it's a good size for a sample when you just buy something else um anyway so i've really been loving it Good morning, it's now Monday. I'm um, just brushing out my very tangly hair. I always say how tangly my hair gets. Um, I'm just watching Toff on YouTube. I absolutely love her um, channel. Um, it hasn't been going for very long. She only created it, what, a few months ago or so? But honestly, I just absolutely love it. And I am shipping her and Jack Maynard so hard. I thought they were together anyway until I've just watched the video about her going through his Tinder. Um, but I just love her. I find her really similar to myself. Um, her personality and everything I find is really, really similar to me. Um, 
and yeah i just really really love watching her i think she's just a, from what i can get i think she's a lovely person and i absolutely loved her on i'm a celeb last year um but yeah i'm just watching her videos and i really like her voice is so calming um i just really like her videos so if you haven't already gone over and watched her i would really really recommend it i've been really enjoying her channel she's quite close to 100k as well which is exciting for her um i really like the fact that kind of like celebrities are coming over to this kind of like youtube world and the kind of world's kind of merging and youtubers are going over to the celebrity world and that kind of thing i quite like it um it uh, makes makes the celebrity world feel a little bit more accessible. Um, I don't know if you get what I mean, but uh, yeah, I quite like it. So I'm just taking a break from doing some work to say hello to you. It's actually quarter past four. Um, basically, I'm supposed to. I don't know. I've got pens all over my bed and everything. I'm trying this blanket on me. Um, basically, I'm normally in uni all day on a Monday, as you guys will probably know. Um, my days actually change. I'm normally in from eleven until half six on a Monday, whereas it's now changed from nine from half nine to half six however today as you can see i'm at home um today i went in from half nine until 12 and then we have a four hour break in the middle of the day um and basically i haven't gone back for the evening slots or like evening from like four until half six um because i'm just doing my presentation because i've got a presentation due in on thursday um so yeah i'm basically just working on that because it's more important than going to a lecture at the moment so i'm just been doing that basically pretty much all afternoon since i got back I did pop to Asda and get a few bits and bobs. My friend Sophie was on the phone as I was putting the stuff into the kitchen, so that's why I didn't show you what I got. I didn't really get anything interesting. Um, as I say, I haven't been feeling like great food-wise, and I've been eating quite bland stuff. I literally just had plain pasta for lunch. Um, so yeah, I haven't like been feeling 100. percent I do feel quite a lot better though since having the plain pasta. Um, I don't feel as like sicky. I don't feel sick at all right now actually. Anyway, so I didn't really get that many interesting things. I think I'm gonna make spaghetti bolognese for dinner tonight though. <laughs> more pasta, more carbs um but i feel like that's what i need right now at the moment anyway so i popped to the shops i came back i made my plain pasta and then i've just been doing my work ever since i feel like i've got quite a lot done which is really good um i'm just gonna like read through my presentation now make sure like it's all okay and then for the next two days tuesday and wednesday i'm gonna write it all up onto cue cards like all my notes and stuff and then try and remember it so that i'm not just like reading off my cue cards because that's something that i really like worry about it's just like reading off the cue cards also painted my nails last night with this color i've got it here actually on my bedside table really loving it like, i wanted to paint it with something that would make me be like yes i can do this this week i know it sounds really silly it's only a nail color but this is the se nail polish in hiking heels really like it it's like a pinky orangey red it's really nice really like it um so yeah i just think my nails look really cute i've been trying to drink lots and lots of water today i've got this smart water bottle here um i haven't been feeling drinking my squash so i'm just drinking my water i'm getting a bit stressed though about my jessica lynn tickets arriving um basically they're supposed to be arriving to home because i didn't live here um when i booked the jessica lynn tickets so they were arriving to home um and they were dispatched on friday and they still haven't arrived and basically um i spoke to someone on live chat yesterday they said they would arrive um today so i'm a bit stressed that they haven't arrived tomorrow I'm going to be calling them. <laughs> um, and I've tried to call them earlier, but it's literally just you're on hold for so long. I was like, right, I'll wait till tomorrow. And if they're not sorted tomorrow, I'm going to be going mental. <laughs> Could someone please explain to me why it's dark outside at 10 to 5? Like, what is this? I'm so sad. So, I'm just about to make my bolognese. It's about 20 past 5, and I'm going to leave this just on the hob, just simmering on a low heat, because it makes it taste really nice. Um, and I've got my sauce here. So, basically, I've just got some um, frozen diced onions. I use these all the time. I think they're the best thing since like, sliced bread. I absolutely love them. You don't have to chop an onion. It's great. They're really cheap. Um, and then I've also got my mince here. This is just a 5% fat mince. This is 500 grams. So I'm going to make um, some for later on in the week. Uh, I'm making bolognese as mentioned earlier but i'm gonna make some for later on the week and also freeze them as well for the future and then i've also got this lloyd grossman sauce which is the bolognese with smoked garlic you obviously can make your own bolognese sauce i'm just doing this for ease um and i really really like these lloyd grossman sauces um and yeah they're my fave and this was on offer for two pounds this sauce so they're literally the things i'm gonna pop in i'm gonna probably put, put a bit more garlic in if this isn't garlicky enough but it probably will be actually because it's with smoked garlic um but yeah that's literally all i'm gonna do and then simmer the bolognese i'm just about to pop a wash on i just thought i'd show you because i absolutely love 
these Lenore Unstoppables. This is not sponsored. <laughs> um, but I love these. They're just so good. I used to use them in first year of uni and I haven't used them since. Like I've used them like this year since I got them at the start of the year. But um, yeah, I used to use them in first year of uni. They're really expensive. I don't know why I used to buy them in first year. I have no idea. Um, but they're quite expensive. I get them from B&M or somewhere when they're on offer. But they're really good. They just like kind of give your uh, wash a boost of scent. You basically just fill a cap full up like that and then you sprinkle it over the top of your washing. I'm not going to do it while I'm holding the camera because I'm probably going to do it wrong. Um, but yeah, that's basically all you do. I probably need some more now because I haven't got that many left in here. Um, but yeah, I just love them. They make them, my washing smell so, so nice for literally so long. Good morning, it's now Tuesday. I'm having this for breakfast. It doesn't look very appetising. I always make such a mess when I have porridge. Um, it's porridge with one banana mashed in it and then one plum and then some strawberries on top. And then I'm just in this in my subscription box and it is um, Brewing With Me Of Two's Poundland and Christmas come shop with me and haul and that is exactly what I need this morning. I'm feeling very festive and all I want is it to be Christmas and not to do any uni work. That's how I feel. So I'm very excited about this video. So I've got a plat in again today. I feel like it's just all plats all the time. Um, just when I'm going to uni for like an hour like I am today, I just can't be bothered to like wash my hair, dry it and whatever. And then when I get back home, I just want it up, up anyway and like in a bun or a ponytail because I just want it out of my face. Um, so yeah, I've gone for a plat. Um, I really like plaits. Um, I don't know, I just really like them. Um, so anyway, I've got my hair in a plait. Um, it's about half past ten. Um, I've actually been shopping on the Beauty Bay sale this morning. They've got up to 30% off everything, which is just mental. Um, so I've been shopping on there for some Christmas things. Um, firstly, some ideas for me because people are asking what I want for Christmas. So I've been looking on there for ideas. And then also some things for a few other people, like my mum, Bradley's sister, my cousins, uh, my friends. Just like quite a few people that I can get some bits off there. So I'm about to go to uni for an hour lecture but when I come back I think I'm going to order a few things on there today um, because one thing I hate is that when you're like busy and then you forget that the sale's on and you're like oh we'll order it, we'll order it, I'll get to tomorrow and the sale will be ended. Um, so I'm going to make sure I order some things on there today um, because there's really really good savings on there. So anyway I'm going to head off to uni now, I've only got this hour lecture, my arm's hurting. Um, I am so cold, like I'm literally cold to the core, it is freezing. I've got my little heater on, but it's just not, it's just too cold. Um, I'm gonna get my pajamas on. It is, what time is it? It's five past six. I've just chucked a chicken Kiev in the oven. Um, so yeah, it's five past six. I'm gonna get my pajamas on. Um, I've written out all my cue cards and stuff for my presentation. I've got them on this little thing from Wilco. Um, I've written out all my cue cards. I've gone through it a few times. I feel a bit better about it. I feel like, yeah, I feel like it's gonna be fine. I've also got the whole day tomorrow to go over it and stuff and I think there's only so many times you can sit and go over and over a presentation so I think I'm going to um, get in my pyjamas, go over it once and then I'm going to do it for the girls upstairs um, after my dinner maybe, I think I'm going to do that and yeah that's about it really basically but I'm just so so chilly I have a nice chill tonight though like I'm not going to sit and do a presentation because I've, I've, I've said it so many times I've been sat here, you said it like five times and now my head actually hurts like I've literally just been speaking and speaking and speaking so yes we have a little bit of a break from speaking the presentation Hello, so it's now Wednesday. I just thought I'd come on here and end the vlog. Sorry for the more chilled appearance today. Um, it's my presentation tomorrow. So today I'm literally just going to be doing my presentation over and over and over again and not going anywhere. So scrapping the makeup today. It's not needed. Um, we're just going to do presentation. No one's going to see me. So yeah, we're scrapping the makeup. So anyway, I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching. Um, I am really sorry about not vlogging more of the weekend. I really didn't feel very well. I have played it down quite a lot in the vlogs, but I did feel like really poorly. I feel better now. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys can understand. So thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed before, I would love you to. The button is down below. Please do subscribe and I will see you guys next time. Bye.